Hello guys, right now I am going to be dealing with a particular topic that I think is very very essential to share with you especially if you are a content creator or a YouTuber and this topic that we are going to be dealing with or treating today is this how to get your first 500 subscribers on YouTube very fast and I'm speaking from experience and from what has actually helped me and this is what I'll be showing you in this video and here if you move here you'll see this is my channel and on this my channel you can see you can see the the subscribers I've actually got which is 849 subscribers which shows that here I've been I've even scaled through I've even scaled through I've got more than 500 subscribers and here I'm going to be explaining to you thoroughly on how I got this and how and this is what actually works for me and I believe that if you also apply it it will also work for you and before I proceed I will show you my the days and uh, the time I've, I, I got that okay if you check from here just look well, watch close watch closely here you can see this is my first 600 subscribers it means that before this date august 9th i got my first 500 subscribers and here on august 9th i got my 600 subscribers not only that check the date august 14 what intervals from 9 to 14 that's just six days i got my 700 subscribers august 14 okay come here and see again august 16 within two days i got my 750 subscribers and why august 18 from august 16 and august 18 that's uh, another two days interval i got my fifth I, I got my 800 subscribers that's august 18 and what is today's date today's date is uh 19 right today's date is 19 of august and i'm 849 subscriber which means that even before the end of the, today i would have got more than this and this is a success that i've actually been able to 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 the day what i've been able to reach and that is what i want to share with you in this video just make sure that you watch this video to the end as i will be revealing to you what has been of help and what has actually helped me so far and also i want to say this that do you know how frustrating it could be when you just wake up uh, in the morning and you come to your channel just to check the progress of your channel or what's going on on your channel and then all you could see is that you couldn't even get any changes people are not subscribing to your channel do you know how frustrating it could be have you ever thought of that and secondly do you know how happy you could be when you wake up every day and you check your youtube channel and you see people subscribing to your channel you are see seeing the progress on what is actually going on on your channel you will feel so motivated to even produce more content as a content creator and then sometimes it might be very you might feel so sad sometimes if people are not subscribing to your channel no progress there are no people are not even watching your channel and that is what I have come to explain to you today that's why I'm saying that you should watch this video to the end and see what has actually worked for me and uh, the if you find this content or this video as something very helpful you can do me a favor by subscribing to this channel hit the notification bell and like the video also drop your comments in the comment section okay now let's get started here yeah, okay i'll be explaining to you gradually and step by step on how to get your first 500 subscribers as fast as possible okay let me move to the next page i'll be talking about how i got this as fast as possible but the one thing you should understand is that getting YouTube subscribers can be 
are a great way to boost your channel's popularity, grow your audience, and uh, people getting to note people getting to notice your channel, uh, making you very popular on YouTube, people watching you, and then enjoying your content. And here I'll be giving the tips that has tips that have actually been of help to me to have got to this uh, to this so far and have got this achievement so far. And what are the tips? The first one I'll be talking about is this. Starting with a goal. Starting with a goal. Just like some would say that if you fail to plan, you are actually planning to fail. Before you can actually do anything on YouTube, you must have a goal or start with a goal. Before you can start promoting your channel, just to make sure that you have a specific goal in mind and then the goal can be like that goal can be in such percentage or in such a way you want uh, improvement on your channel if you want improve your imp the improvement on your channel to be 10 percent 25 percent 50 percent once you know the goal you can start planning how to achieve this goal you can start planning how to achieve this goal. For instance, now, I myself talking to you, before last month, July, I deemed it fit, and I, 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 I drafted some things, and I deemed it fit. I thought I was of the mindset that, okay, before August, before the end of August, I must get my first 1,000 subscribers. And uh, as of July, as of July, I was I have not even got up to 500 subscribers. I have not even got up to 500 subscribers. But I planned my way, and I, I have the mindset that okay, I want to work on this my channel. And before the end of August, I must have got my first five 1,000 subscribers, and in which you could see as what I've shown to you on uh, my channel. And the next thing. The summary of this is just that make sure that you have a goal in mind. What you want to achieve. It might be monthly goal. Maybe three months. By the end of three months, by the end of six months, you must have got this kind of success, achieved this kind of uh, success. And once you uh, have the goal in mind, just plan towards the goal. Just make sure that you watch closely as I will be explaining the other part of this video. Explaining some other parts. Here. The next one here is two, which is, which is what I call creativity. Make sure that you create a compelling content. Why? Because from the concept of creativity, creativity is just like an act of being creative. That is, you could create something from an existing entity or something from what is not existing. And that is creativity. Believe me, it is your creativity that will determine how fast your growth will be as a content creator. If you are not creative enough, you cannot actually progress or accrue success as a YouTuber. When people subscribe to your channel, they want to see content that they would want to watch. But the main thing you should understand is that make sure that your videos, they are well produced and they are very interesting to watch. Make sure that you are very creative. And when I talk about creativity, why I've actually studied and I've seen some channel, I see that some people could not even produce a video for the past three months, six months, and a year. I was like wondering what could happen. And I noticed that those people, they've not even got up to 500 subscribers. Some 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers, 250, 300, and they stopped. And I was, I checked their channel. I saw that some of them, they, they could not even, prog I mean, continue with the trend they started with. Maybe they don't have, they don't know what to produce again. When it comes to being creative, you must, it requires your thinking. 
That is why you are a content creator. How can you also produce a video in this kind of niche that you are dealing with or talking about on your channel? For instance, assuming you are talking about affiliate marketing, your channel talks about affiliate marketing, and you are thinking of you, 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 you made a video you don't know what to produce again. You can think of, okay, before you can say how people can make money online with affiliate marketing, why not first thinking of telling people what affiliate marketing is? After that, okay, how they can make money on affiliate marketing. That's another video. Making two. Another one you might think of, okay, and mistakes that affiliate marketers make. That's another video. Another one you can think of, okay, platforms that people can actually use to market the product. That is creativity. You think logically, how can you extend, how can you create more videos out of, a, uh, out of the topic or the niche you are dealing with online? And that's the aspect of your creativity. It is your creativity that will determine your consistency. It is your creativity that will determine your consistency as a YouTube as a YouTube as a YouTuber or a content creator. If you are not creative, you cannot be consistent or you cannot produce video or content consistently on your channel. And mind you that your audience came to your channel for a reason. And this is what will lead me to the next to the next one to the next point which I call you being consistent. <clears throat> the number three point part of it is consistency. Success, nobody actually achieves anything without being consistent. If you are going to achieve anything today, it will be as a result of your consistency. That is why success is not a destination, it is a journey. And one of the most important things that you can do to get subscribers on your channel is to be consistent with your content. When you consistently produce content that your audience actually wants to watch, people will love to stay. You know, have you noticed that sometimes you produce a content and uh, people watch your content but they do not subscribe? You will just see the number of, you'll be seeing thousands or thousands of people watching your content, but they do not subscribe to your channel. Maybe they've not made up their mind to actually subscribe. But later, when you are consistent and they are getting value from your content, they feel like, okay, let me stay. I think I've got a channel that really has what I really need. And there you see them converting or subscribing to your channel. If people enjoy your videos and know when to expect new ones, they are more likely to subscribe and stay subscribed on your channel. That shows the key of consistency. And then mind you, your major as a YouTuber or as a content creator, your major concern should not be on getting 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. Your major focus should not be on that because the moment your focus is on that, you will shift the you will shift from the place of rendering value or content that is value oriented. Why do I say that? When you give, think of firstly think of giving out a value. Don't forget that people subscribing to your channel, they are not just subscribing for subscribing's sake. They subscribe to your channel because they are getting value. When people see value from your channel, they will love to stay and remain subscribed in your channel. Focus on giving out content. Think of, okay, what value do you want to add to your people? Your mindset should be on adding value to your community, to your audience. When people see something they like, they are getting something of value from your content, they will remain subscribed, they will stay subscribed, and they will enjoy and keep on watching your content. I have watched different videos and I've seen comments, and people would like say that, okay, 
from the day one i have been following you and i've been watching your video have you seen such or have you also had that it means that the main thing should be on rendering value rendering value rendering value giving something that keeps your audience your audience they subscribe to your channel because of something so just make sure that you you go for a valuable content you give a valuable content and not just you focusing on getting subscribers if you are looking for subscribers people will just watch your content and leave without even subscribing to your channel that is about that and also <coughs> make sure that you engage your viewers engage your viewers talk to them relate with them in person also when you are also recording your your content make sure that you use some call to actions like <coughs> tell them to subscribe to your channel if they find your content engaging or they find it valuable or they've got any value from any value from your content tell them to subscribe just like i too i said that if you find this content i'm rendering if you find it helpful kindly subscribe to my channel hit the notification button that is the way you can do it when you are actually producing your content also make sure that you use some uh, uh those green screen buttons that shows uh, a subscribe button for people to see and to stay subscribed that is about number three the next one is youtube analytics here i'll be practical enough on this aspect youtube analytics is very essential so when it comes to getting 500 1000 10,000 and many more subscribers on your channel because YouTube analytics is such a powerful tool that can help you to understand your audience one help you to improve your channel two and here I'll be giving I'll be talking about some tips that you need on how to use YouTube analytics but before I do that let me just actually show this to you on my channel about what I mean by YouTube analytics when you come here now you come to your channel on the analytics this is my studio my channel studio and if you find what i'm doing to be helpful kindly make sure that you subscribe to my channel thank you for doing that and this is what i mean by youtube analytics if you come to your youtube stu studio i know you know what youtube studio is you come here you come here to your analytics click on analytics click on analytics once you click on analytics this is analytics just imagine what I've been able to get so far in the for the past 28 days what do I mean by analytics analytics is what we help you to keep track of your keep track of your what's it called of your YouTube I mean of your YouTube channel to know what is actually going on you'll be able to know those people that subscribe the country they are from and uh, the number of views, the number of subscribers you've got, and then and it will also help you to know how people engage in your videos. You have to understand the analytics when you notice what content actually keeps them, what content actually engage them, engage your audience, what content actually makes them to stay. It will also give you the percentage, everything that is happening on your channel. Here and also by the time you get to 500 subscribers, this place will be activated for you. Advanced mode. Once you click on it, because I've got there, that's why I'm able to, 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 to access this place. Advanced, for this advanced mode, here will open. Once you've got to 500 subscribers, you can see my YouTube analytics you see the content the traffic source where the traffic everything is coming the geography the cities the viewer age the age and the gender of those people that are actually uh, that are actually watching my content you can see the traffic source from the YouTube search and the impressions the future the channel page and all these things are what you're going to see 
let me click on content my content on my content here you'll see my videos here you'll be able to see the video that is actually doing very well this video is the the best one doing very well my video and we could see the number of the percentage the average hours of watch and then all this you'll be able to see people watching your video and everything on all the content the videos have produced this is it and that's on once you get to your first 500 subscribers you will access this access this page the advanced mode of analytics you'll be able to access the advanced mode of analytics Yeah, but on the norm, if you've not got up to 500 subscribers, you can still make use of here. You'll be able to see those that subscribe, the watch hours, the subscribers, for you to see my progress so far. And you can also check individual video by clicking on demo. By, by once you click on it, and uh, you see, you'll be able to see uh, what has actually what is happening with individual video, and then you'll be able to see the the retention, how people engage in the video. For instance, let me click on this one and show you the analytics of this video. You can check each video's analytics. Look at the analytics of this single video. You can see this video has generated 52 subscribers for me, more than 1.1k views, and look at the watch hour, 78 hours of watch for this video. Can you see the retention? Here you'll be, be able to see how people watch your video steadily and uh, the progression of it. From there you'll be able to see where it is dropping down, where people find it so this, uh, this, um, they find no interest in it again. So that you'll be able to know how to improve. And here you'll see the search, my YouTube search, I have people searching this video on YouTube, see it, and the SNR search and others as well. These are what analytics does for you and the average view from this analytics you can get to know uh, how your video is uh, the progress of a video and how you can actually even get your 4000 hours here let's come back to the to this youtube analytics youtube analytics use the watch time report to see what videos are are most popular with your audience one secondly use the audience retention report to see how long viewers are watching your videos thirdly it's use the traffic source report to see where your viewers are coming from you'll be able to know where they're coming from also it use demographic report to learn more about your audience and so on and so forth these are what you we have to know about youtube analytics here i will be lastly i will be talking about seo seo simply means search engine optimization this aspect as well is very very essential as a youtuber a lot of YouTubers who have not even got 500 subscribers, they don't know how to do search engine optimization, that is YouTube SEO. YouTube SEO is just what actually makes your video, your content, to rank that when people search for that uh, keyword, that keyword, they will be able, you know when you go to YouTube and you search for anything on YouTube, what you tend to see is, here, you will see that some videos are on the first page the SEO is just like once you search for any video online or anybody search for any video online okay let's assume that I search for how to make money online or let me use this let me use this Africa arbitrage. Let's say that this is the video I'm looking for. People, I want to search for this, or people are searching for a video. And once they make the research or they click, once they click to search for this, they click. Let's say somebody says somebody. Let's let us assume that somebody is looking for a video, and then. Uh, is looking for something on YouTube and they search for this name Africa arbitrage you will see that some videos are number one number two number three if you check the content you produce 
you will notice that some of your videos are not on the first, are not on the second, are not even on the third. They get how if they are not on the first, second, third, or fourth or fifth on the first page like this, how will people be able to find your video? Talk of watching to the extent that people will subscribe to your channel, or to the extent that you getting four thousand hours of watch. This is where the issue is from. Means that. SEO is very essential because that is what actually makes your video to rank on YouTube. Here on this niche, as you can see, this is my, my content. I made this. This is my Lugar Digital. If you, if you've recently, I, I just uploaded this video and I did a optimization. That means if people are looking for this video, by the time they scroll, they will see my video on YouTube and they can watch it. They will see my video and they can watch it on YouTube that is about that that is about that okay let me now come back to seo youtube seo is just a process of optimizing your youtube videos channel to increase its ranking via youtube search engines like youtube have an intricate algorithm that determines how your video will appear in youtube rankings and this is what determines how your video will appear in youtube ranking whether on the first 10 people when people are searching and they are looking for what they need and they could locate your video and that's how you can get your number a lot of people to watch your number of views a lot of people to watch your video your content and subscribers have you ever seen a situation whereby you upload a video like in a month you've not even got 100 views talk of getting 500 views <laughs> you know it can be annoying can be a, it can be it can be annoying and here on this youtube seo here because i don't want to make this video to be too long here i'll be stopping here today just in my next video i'll be talking more about this youtube seo how you can do seo so that your youtube your video uh, can rank on youtube and then on this youtube seo i'll be talking about uh, how you can actually optimize your video to rank and uh, talking about your keyword research title description thumbnails tags all those things are very very essential for your video to rank and here i'll be stopping here today and uh, if you if you if you if you've actually found any value in what i've given so far please kindly subscribe to my channel so that you will also be it will, so that you also be getting more of my content and then the next video that i will be uploading on this channel kindly subscribe hit the notification bell and like the video also drop your comments uh this way i'll be stopping and we'll continue next time thank you uh, so much